up. Like I just proposed to my That's girl. Ten years, my, so yeah, we've been That's together. Ten years. Yeah, we've been That's together ten for ten years, years and I just proposed years. to her and she just sitting here and just she looking at the ring. You just sitting here looking at it. You ain't in a car, you ain't putting no thought into it. You ain't taking me out to dinner or nothing. No type of little setup, bro. Why do it? But, but, flowers, it, nothing. Just this but God, but Chris, and then after ten years. I ain't gonna get to keep arguing with games. you. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to stick with some guy for 10 years, five years after we had a discussion, just to sit around and wait for you to propose. And then when you do propose, then I'm just going to reject it. So obviously, you must got somebody else she playing with. Yeah, yeah. And so she got L somebody she right. playing with. And then now he's serious. So now the role's done reversed. Nah, L Book said the right man run. That should get out of jail free car <laughs> run. A woman rejects her boyfriend's marriage proposal after 10 years of dating. Come around with the fellas on this one. Had to, man. Got let's, see what, let's see what they got to say. Let's see what they got to say. It's Fish Drum Podcast. Yeah. Let's go. So let me, let me show y'all something, world. I just literally Don't proposed. I ain't going to record you because that's up. Like, I just proposed to my After girl. 10 years, my, so, yeah, we've been together. Yeah, we've been together for 10 years, and I just proposed to her, and she just sitting here and just looking at the ring. You just sitting here looking at it. You ain't in a car. You ain't putting no thought into it. You ain't taking me out to dinner or nothing. No type of little setup, bro. Why do it? Flowers, nothing. Just this ring. And then after 10 years. Crystal. No. You said you wanted to be married. I don't want to. I went out and bought this ring. five years ago. I don't want that shit not to take you another five years to what you mean? So ten years? Look, I ten years for me. That that, that 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 tells me if I want to spend the rest of my life with you. It don't take you ten years. You, people true colors. It not take you people true colors don't be coming. Like I gotta it see your true colors. It do take people ten no. years. Everybody not the same. No, don't. Like I don't get it. What you talking about? Like no, so really you really so you really don't want you don't, no, you don't want to marry me. You know what? I'm gonna pack my shit. So you finna break up with me because I got you a ring ten years later? What type of thought is this? We in the car. What you mean we in the car? Like, it don't matter where you get proposed to as long as you get proposed to. I don't want that shit. Can you stop recording me? I'm not going to stop recording because you're unappreciative and I want to show the world how unappreciative my girl is. Like, I don't understand right now. Like, you got a whole... Like, you know how much I spent on this ring? And you complain about where I'll propose to you at? That's what you complain yeah, about? in the car. It's no type of thought into it. And then it's been 10 years. I don't want that shit now. It took you 10 years? Okay, everybody not the it. same. Maybe it take me 10 years to realize if I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't want it. That's crazy. Like, I don't be under, I don't get you. Like, do you so much you finna leave? Where you finna go? Where you finna go? Yeah. Yeah. First of all, she's a I, dumb ass for even staying that long. Ain't no way in the world I'm staying no 10 years. If you knew at nah, this nah, point, nah. 10 years later, that you didn't want it, when you would have, if, if it was five years ago and you realized y'all had that conversation and he wasn't doing something, she should have left. I'm going to ask for keep on explaining. Because I, if I, if I give you the ring, I should, I give you the ring and I'll make the marriage proposal and you tell me, no, oh, yeah, I'm out. They, I ain't gonna care to they keep arguing with games. you. Ain't no way in hell I'm gonna stick with some guy for 10 years, five years after we had a discussion, just to sit around and wait for you to propose. And then when you do propose, then I'm just gonna reject it. So obviously, you must got somebody else she playing with. Yeah, it, yeah. And so she got L somebody she right. playing with. And then now he's serious. So now the role's done reversed. Nah, L Book said the right man run. That should get out of jail free car here's, run. Here's my thing. This is the thing that bothers me. Why do we consistently see these videos? Why, why does any of that matter? The fact, like, not the 10 years part, but the fact that he had the ring and he was in the car, this is the part that, like, burns me up the most. If you really love someone, why does it matter how they propose? Why, yeah, does, why it, does any be, of that matter? It, it, it like, could be in a car, it could be in a restaurant, I don't it don't matter. Like, how many, because again, I say this all the time, how many proposals are you getting in your lifetime? You might know, get one. May, you might get listen, two. She may, she may have a couple proposals lined so up. So to me, it's like, if you really love a person, why does any of that matter? It's like life insurance. You get life insurance. or I mean, you get car insurance just in case some shit happens. So like, for me, it's like, why does it matter? Why? How he did it? Are you? You should just be happy. You got that. Yeah. Now, again, 
I'm not saying that he shouldn't have waited 10 years because it don't take you 10 years to figure out if you want to marry somebody. Man, it take about three to six got, months. She, they she, know. We know. We we know. She got dick insurance. She got something lined up. <laughs> oh, shit. She got dick look, insurance. I'm telling you. She do. Hey, so she her, got somebody else lined up. For her to respond like that and for her to react like that, she definitely yeah, I'm got I'm telling you, she got somebody dude. lined up. She definitely got it's, another dude. And homeboy, he didn't peep it. He should have peeped it. Yeah, first and of see, all. And see, that be the problem. And, and this is from experience. Guys don't realize what they have, or maybe shall I say, they do realize what they have. However, they don't think that it's going to leave. And then when they realize, like, oh, wait a minute, she getting distant. Now, all of a sudden, you want to step up. But then it's like, now you want to step up, and it's too late. Well, so, no, it's, like, it's, it's just like a whole it's a whole game. But look like, look at what look at what yeah. Jalil said. He said maybe his paper wasn't right to propose earlier. That, a lot of men don't want to propose when they don't feel like they are at the they level that they right. want to be. That's, that's I don't want to just propose to you just because you want it. I want to be able to say, hey, this is my woman. I can take care of her the way she deserves to be taken, taken care of. Because it's like, I give you the ring, and now as wife, you like, well, you this need to be done. This And you like, well, damn, I, yeah. I ain't there but, yet. But what he should have said, instead of arguing with, man, I ain't. First of all, I'm First not, of all, I'm why not you putting bring, that shit why on the internet. Bringing, why are you bringing the phone out and recording? Yeah, exactly. I'm not like, that. That's like, this generation. What, that? what, what I would have said, this yo, listen, that, my, this, this generation, my shit wasn't right. Now I feel though that my shit is right, so I'm proposing to you. Like but, they should, they should have kept but, that whole conversation intimate between yeah, the two but, of them. Yeah, but just like just, this, this we, we wouldn't have a show if everybody did that. Exactly, exactly, exactly. But what, what I would that most men, because I know I did it. When I knew I was ready, I said, oh, yo, I'm going to marry this girl. But her ass wasn't ready. That's, yeah. that's, what, that's why I'm divorced now. Oh, damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I'm divorced now. But hey. And yeah. uh, so again, like, yeah, I think that at the end of the day, fellas, you got to know who you proposing to. Because the woman that I'm with, she's not going to care if I proposed on the moon or if I proposed in the, in the damn sewer, and then and and then also <laughs> also T maybe deep down he knew that this wasn't the right woman, but he probably got tired of of dating all these I'm other saying. women. That's what I'm so saying. yo, I'm gonna settle so with this for the wrong reasons. Yeah, that's what so I'm gonna marry. Yeah, so he that probably was, did that was the wrong reasons. That's what I'm saying. Like he had to be playing in the beginning. If you if you doing this for ten years and now all of a sudden it's like it seems like he's settling. That's what it seems like. It seems like he's like all right. Well, you know what. You know, a time is going by. I ain't getting no younger. Let me just go ahead and just do it. Who's to say that it's like, okay, like I said, he might see or realize that she's becoming distant. He may be getting some kind of benefits from no, her. Her ass wasn't distant. He just ain't he just ain't see the signs. Or maybe he just felt He did. I just think he just probably didn't care. He, he probably was he like He was man, doing his own dirt. He probably like, man, ten years. My other yams and dried up and got right. married on me. Right. <laughs> I'm out to marry these yams right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, hey, listen, listen, it's, shorty, I got this Walmart ring for you right here. You want to uh, take, take this job? <laughs> oh, you don't want to get married right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he like, shit, my yams okay. and dried up. Oh, I, know a lot of, I know a lot of guys who have said that the reason why they didn't get married, why it took them so long is because they just wasn't where they want it to be. So I mm -hmm. do think that that can be Yeah, a I've, I've heard of that. And now, then sometimes what happens is then the guys, they end up missing out on the one. And then it's like, damn, you know what? She done moved on because it's like, okay, if you're not communicating that to her or whatever, and then she do goes and moves on and then it's like, okay, now you want to just like revisit that years later? No, you can't do that. You got to communicate. Like if, if she really means that much to you, communicate. Maybe she'll understand if she really likes you that much. She'll understand and she'll stick around and she'll help you. But why she can't she'll help you grow. Why she can't communicate? Why she can't say, "Hey, what's the reason why you you don't want to get married to me?" Why she? Can't oh, oh you know what? That's a good point. Maybe she didn't communicate that. Or all, maybe, or that's, that's I'm gonna give the whole T the benefit like of the doubt. Maybe with that whole stigma, we shouldn't. Maybe as, as women, we should not approach men with that topic to an extent. To an extent, if we want to be women about it, and Man, that stigma shit. is the reason ah, why women that, are alone. No, no. Communication is a two-way street. That's so true. It's, it's not just again. I, I'll just speak for uh, our community. How many black men have been in an environment where they've been around a married woman or man? So a lot of black men are coming from 
inexperienced. They don't even know how this goes. They've never been privy to this. So it's all new. And I think that that's when communication Look, said, like women always communicate when they want to get married. And, and that's, that's okay. partly true. That because not true. a lot of times. Okay, quick. We're going to move on quick. <laughs> no, okay, quick. We're going to move on quick. True. No, no. Men nah. be saying that they feel pressured. Nah. That's not so true. So it's okay. Nah. Is, is, no, it's no. not true. What? I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to tell you what it is from their situation. I'm going to tell you what it is from their situation. That, listen, she getting a carrot from another man. She definitely is. She, and definitely when is. when he proposed to her at that moment, she said, "Oh hell no!" Right? Because I'm getting my black my back blown out by Tyrone. No, I ain't right. marrying you. Is a female based on her response yeah. and how she was moving? Exactly. And, and, and she, she said, your, "And she said your fingernails dirty." Oh, she go definitely. get it from Tyrone <laughs> <laughs> and watch your broke ass be on yeah, the. On the she the, said you gonna do that in a car. Yeah, no. I ain't this go, He like I'd have been like this. Go with your crooked ass wig. Go, go you better take this goddamn ring. Go get it from Tyrone <laughs> and go sleep your ass on the air yeah, mattress man. on the floor. This your podcast. Ooh. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. <laughs> <laughs> That's spicy. So we, had, we had number. We had number. We had no. We had number four. Number four. I yeah. lost track. Number four. Yeah, four. Oh, tea, y'all. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> spicy habanero. Look, I I'm ain't even spicy saw. tonight. I, Look, I, I, I am amazed tonight. that she ain't say nothing nasty tonight. I'm chilling tonight. You know, you know how you know how she be. Look, <laughs> <laughs> don't get me started. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to. Yeah, I said, Miss John after. Yeah, time. Miss over there, get your bed ready. <laughs> Damn. Look, All right, anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to be on my my best behavior tonight, y'all. Like, look, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be good. I done turned over another leaf. Oh, oh my God. <laughs>